Hey everyone, it's me, Violet. <laughs> and me, Mel. Mel. I ain't got my shoes come off, oops. And me, Mel. Melanie. So, me, Melanie. Oh, wait for me, guys. Wait up, wait up. Okay. And me, Lainey. Okay. And it's me, OG Lover, one, two, three, four, forever. Today I am doing a video with my dolls. And as you will see on my Google Plus, I did say it's a Halloween video. I know Halloween's still pretty far away, but my internet has been really fast for the past few days and I'm on an uploading video spree. So I can upload twice as many videos. So I'm really happy about that and I thought to get you guys prepared, my lovely dolls prepared, hang on, let's get Lainey in the picture, I would do this video. Let's just sit my knee upright, okay, and before anybody asks what my dolls are wearing in the comments, Lainey is wearing Kit's meat skirt, no shoes, the top she's wearing, she's wearing a um, now generation, um, cardigan but I just turned back to front and pinned it. Melanie's wearing a hat that she came with handmade, a top from Builder Bear, a pair of leggings from I can't remember the name of the doll and a pink pair of designer French shoes. As for Violet she's wearing a polka dot dress, purple tights that Melanie came with and a pair of purple shoes. So now I've got all that sorted let's do this video so I'm just gonna have to blur the camera a sec sorry my camera isn't on the stand proper okay sorry guys about this but there we go okay so it's on the stand properly so as my last how-to video was such a success I thought I would do another one and it's again very basic but it's only if you are one of these families that have these certain things. So if you can do banking downstairs, uh, I'm in my house and even though I did tell everybody to quiet down, they didn't listen. But So first of all you're going to need a kind of container. This container is um, it's the large one but it depends on what you want. I'm just, I'm using this one as an example, it's a medicine bottle. So it could have had medicine in or tablets. I'm not using this one, I'm using this one because I couldn't get the label off this. The one I am using is this, okay? Oops. Sorry, I just need to get the stupid lid off. Yeah, I'm just going to have to get the lid off some other fancy schmancy way. And, yeah, I hope I can get the lid off. I'll pretend I'm disappointed if I can't. So, sorry, I haven't even told what we're making. We are making um, Halloween um, containers to contain their little sweeties and stuff. So you're going to need your general containers. So you're just going to need a container like this. And you're going to need a container like that. And you're also going to need a few pencils and pens. Felt tips. You're going to need paper. And you're also going to need scissors, okay? I'll be back in a minute and see you in a sec. Okay, I'm back, but I just discovered that it's like one of those. But it doesn't really matter, you'll get the point. Um, I'll just show you the inside of this one. This one's turned a bit more, um, basic. I can't even open this one. I'm not strong at all. But they should be just flat, but... um. There is one thing that I did forget to mention which is vital. If you are using medicine bottles, make sure they are empty and clean them out as well. Okay, this is for safe and re safe health and safety reasons. Okay. I've also just had some parents to quiet down, but they're still not listening to me. Okay. But let's continue on with this video. So we're going to make a little Halloween thing. I'm also going to make some little treats just to go in there. Sorry, that's my tripod. So the main colours that you're going to need are pretty, pretty basic. You're going to need orange, green, 
that's for your little um, containers, but for other things you're just going to need different things. It depends what you um, are planning to do. So should I do the candy first or, hang on, sorry, it's one of my dolls and all because I'd like these specific colours out earlier. Okay, people who haven't got a YouTube channel yet, be a tiny bit more proper than I am. Um, I'll do the candy first. So, move that out of the way. That needs to dry because I've literally only just washed it before I started this. So, I am not a good drawer, so please, in the comments, don't pick up on it. I know I'm awful. Please don't say anything in the comments because I know I'm awful. I, I just, I can draw, but it depends what I'm drawing. So, I'm just going to start off here. And I'm going to do a little lollipop. Now, you know, lollipops can come in different colours. So, I'm just doing like this circle in the middle of the page. Okay. Just a dark blue. Could be a light blue. Could be any, but I like the colour blue, so I'm just going to stick to that. And what I'm going to do, I pressed on it pretty hard because I wanted it to come through on the other side. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to use a grey, or if you're doing it on black, you can use a white. This is going to be the stick of the sweetie. Because you need... It all needs to hold on to something. It, it looks a bit like a black, depends how I see it. Lighting is really weird on camera, so you might not be able to tell as much. And I've literally just done one little sweet. And I'm just going to um, show you a bit closer. Okay. Next, it's Halloween, so you might want some. Um, what would you want on Halloween? Think, 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 think. I was going to say candy canes, but that's more for Christmas. Um, you're going to want those little gumdrop things that you can get. You can. Um, get these really awesome um, candy drop things, they're really awesome. So I'm going to just do, because I don't really want to do individual ones, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do little dots all over on here. Just all over, all over. There. Okay, and then you can put in the middle any of the colours you want. So I might want to add a blue, I don't know, something to use. If anybody's wondering, I'm using dual tip felt tips, called dual because there's one there and one on the end. And you just want to insert one in the middle. If you guys want to do a Christmas one like this, like making Christmas presents, but I do have one awesome Christmas video, but I'm not telling you guys yet. But if you want to do something like this at Christmas time, please tell me and I will put it in this little notebook thing that I'm going to start having to do for video requests. There we go. So we've got a lollipop and a little packet of sweeties. What you can do, just add a bit of effect. Again, use a grey. You can use black, but I like grey. It adds a bit more of an effect. Just do like um, a little semi thing there. Up there, see it's like a curved line. Like smile, okay? And then you want to do Longer smiles at the side. Okay, longer smile that's at the side. And then what you could do is you could do very light strokes like that at the top to make it look like the air's gathering. And then just do a circle all the way around. Like that. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the thing, I was looking at the camera. And you have a little bag of sweeties. Okay. Next, um, you might want to do another lollipop. So I'm again just going to, this time I'm not going to do a lollipop actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a complete straight line in yellow. It's like pretty thick, not too thick. And what I want to do is because it's like a um, really thick line, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to 
get red. And I'm going to do a really thick towel paper for that. For some blunt red. And you want to go to the side. And you again want to do a really thick line right next to it. You're probably thinking, H.G. Hey, Lover, why are you doing that? The reason why I'm doing it is because you can make candy corn. And if you don't know what candy corn is, look it up. Um, what I would do, I would leave a little tab there. That is why. So then you could just cut out little triangles, a little circle of things to be your candy. And, yep, you can do more things, but as I don't want this to be too long, it's already been about eight minutes and I don't want it to be too long, I'm just going to do this for now. But I'm going to cut these out and find my felt it and I'll be back. See you in a minute, or a second, but whatever. Bye. Okay, I've literally only got three minutes left, so I'm really going to have to hurry now. Um, I've cut out my sweeties and Melanie was hard to find these, cursed Melanie. So what I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to show you very quickly. So I'm going to draw it off camera and then I'm going to show you. So what you have to do is grab your orange. Okay, so just grab your orange and do a circle. Just a circle, nothing else. Okay. So you have a circle. Okay. And what you're going to want to do is if it isn't, as long as because it's on plastic it rubs off very easily. I've got a trick to show you how to stop that from happening as well if I have enough time. I'll tell you quickly now if I don't have enough time what you have to do is get some paper and tissue sorry and put it on top. It, it lets it dry easier. So I've made it a tiny bit thicker now. Sorry, the pan was in the way. Next, you can use your black or your grey, like I do, and do two little triangles for eyes. Just two little triangles. Colour them in. There you go. So I have two little eyes. Sorry, that last one's really weird. There we go, that's better. And then just do a smile or a frown or just like a giggle with laughter for a mouth like that. Then what you can do is you can colour in your pumpkin. This is a pumpkin if you didn't know, it's a pumpkin. So just colour it in all the way around. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. If it rubs off, just keep on doing it. You need to let it out to dry as well, so you need to leave it to dry. Again, it's going to take at least a couple of hours to dry. Okay, and you've got your little bag. Ooh, my time's running out very quickly. Then on the top, do like two little bunny ears. To make a pumpkin. Okay, and then you can just do some designs on your bottle. Okay, and you're done. So, and then you can, what you can do, you can place your doll candy in there. So I'm just placing it in the kettle corn and all that jazz. But there you have it. Please modeling it. Thank you for watching this how to video. I really hope it helped you this Halloween. Please decorate it any way you want, but I really had to do this quickly. Thank you all for watching. Bye! 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 Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye!